Hey family, the month of October is flying by and we're quickly approaching the end of 2023. There was a lot that took place this month, so let's get right into it. In partnership with Read and Color, 904 participated in Band Books Week. During this week, we hosted a panel discussion with community leaders, as well as a Read and Color kickoff event at the Church of Oakland. We want to thank everyone who came out and supported this important cause. This month, we also had the opportunity to celebrate and honor the many high school and college students who participated in 90 Forward's inaugural Student Advocacy Training Institute. In June, 16 students participated in a one-day training. After the training, the students were tasked with creating a project to initiate change in their communities. These students really went above and beyond our expectations, and I feel a sense of comfort knowing that they will be the leaders of tomorrow. I want to congratulate Winston, who took home third place, Yancho, who took home second, and Nico and Nivia, who shared first place. You can expect to hear more about the next year's training in the spring of 2024. I am happy to announce that season two of the Business of Race podcast returns on Wednesday, November 1st. Join Regina as she has conversations with community and business leaders to discuss the business side of the issues we face daily and the ways that business leaders can ensure they do not have these issues. To learn more, visit 904.org slash podcast. This month, we continue to be shaken by the news of wars, mass shootings, and terrorism, both abroad and in our country. We are overwhelmed by the images we see, confounded by the words we hear, chilled by the stories we share, and confronted by histories filled with isms, phobias, and downright horrors. These are indeed troubling times. And as a team, we've been trying to process it all as well. And here's where we've landed. The days we can be honest with ourselves and acknowledging how we feel are the days we know that there is still hope. The fear is real and it seems to conflict with the optimism of hope. The two can and do coexist. Some days, we lean into one over the other, but in either place, we don't stay indefinitely. These are moments to really lean into your spirituality, your mental health resources, and your tribe. Find comfort where you can, and let that comfort assure you that tomorrow is coming and that you are fully supported and capable of embracing that tomorrow with all of its fears, its joys, its challenges, and its triumphs. But for today, retreat and rest and wear the security blankets that will soothe your souls. Hang in there, family. Even if it's by a thread, hang in there. That's all I have for you this month. I really appreciate your continued support of 904 Work.